Hey guys, so this is going to be my Sigma brush review. Now, first off, um, my camera just died just as I was starting to film this, which is kind of annoying because I forgot to charge it. Um, but I figured that this video really needs to go up and this isn't a video that needs to be in like really high quality. So that's the first thing. Second thing is I can only upload 10 minute videos. I don't know, my iMovie just let, only lets me do 10 minutes. So in this video I'm only going to be looking at Sigma brushes. Um, and what I mean by that is I wanted to put MAC brushes in this to compare them because even though people say it's not supposed to be, that it's not right to compare them, whatever, I think it's just they're so alike that it's important to compare them. And that's why I've, I've got lots of questions asking how they compare to Mac, so I think this is an important video to do. But because I've only got 10 minutes, I'm going to do that in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but this is just going to be about my Sigma brushes, not comparing them to Mac at all. I'll do that in a different video. Okay, so as you guys know, ah, I got pretty much the full range, and I just dropped one. Okay, this chair squeaks so much. Okay, basically, okay, what I got is I got the professional set, I got the premium set, I got the Sigmax brushes, and I got the little Kabuki, which I've left in my, and I'll get that in a minute. Now, these are all jumbled up, so I'm not going to go through them by set, but I'm going to go through them just as I, uh, by like face, and then eyes, and then the lip brush. Um... So I'll jump into it and then I'll kind of do a conclusion at the end because I've thought about this a lot. I've tried them out for two months now, so yeah. So this is just going to be how they perform as brushes on their own. So the first one is the large powder brush, which is the F20. And that looks like this. This is a really big brush. It's very fluffy. It's very soft. Um, I will mention, though, that with pretty much all the face brushes that come with black hair, like these. The first wash they did um, bleed, which means like when I washed them, black dye leaked out of it. But that was only the first time, and the black haired brushes do tend to shed more than, say, the white haired brushes. Um, but I found that they only do that when I'm washing them. They don't generally tend to shed on my face, which is kind of what's more important. I don't like it when they shed on my face, but I can deal if they're washing, if I'm washing them. Um, generally, this is a really soft, nice brush, good for powder, um, just bronzer, anything. Um, and I would recommend this brush. I think this is a good one. Next, sorry, most of these are dirty. Sorry, I, there's so many of them. I like can never keep them all clean. Okay, the next one is one of my favorites actually, and that is the Sigma F30. And that looks like this. I'll show you next to the one I just showed you. So it's a similarish size. Um, this one I love to use for bronzer. Just not like contour, but a very just light glowing bronzer. Just a very light hand to give you that nice um, tanned look. And this one also for um, powders, loose and pressed. Um, I would definitely recommend this brush. I really like it. And yeah, so this is the F30. It's a really nice brush, very soft. Same issues as the other one, but I don't find that a really big deal. Next we have the powder blush brush, which is the F10, which looks like this. Now this feels the same as the other two. I'll show you next to it. It's a lot smaller. Um, and it's really good for applying precise blush. Now this isn't that dense, so it would be better for kind of more pigmented products because it is actually quite fluffy. Um, if you're going to use sheerer products, you need to build it on a bit more. But I still think this is a very good brush. I would recommend it. Um, very soft. Softer than most drugstore ones you get. They are very soft. Um, that is one thing I noticed about Sigma. As soon as I open the brushes, I just like keep stroking them. They're so, they are ridiculously soft. 
The next one is another of my favourites, and that is the Sigma Face uh, Tapered Face Brush, right? The F25, which looks like this. Now I love this for con putting contour in, but then it's fluffy enough to blend it out at the same time. I can put blush on with this, I can put highlight, put just all over face powder because you can go like that, you can sweep it under the eyes. You can do lots of things with this. Now, I love that it's tapered but I find that it's not firm enough to keep its shape, if you know what I mean. like when you you can't just put product on the tip and go like that it's not firm enough for that but that's good in a way because it helps blend it out but if you're looking for something firm then this might not be it but it is again very soft sheds a little bit not too much um, very good brush um, next we have the duo fiber f50 now this one, this is good, but I'm going to have to bring Mac in here. It's just nothing compared to the 187. Um, it's good if you can't afford to get the 187, which I totally understand because it's a ridiculous price. This is a very good alternative, but it's not up to par. If you already have the 187 and you're looking for a cheap dupe, this isn't it. But if you don't want to pay the price for the 187 and you want to do a fiber brush, this is a pretty decent one to get. It's very soft again, minimal shedding. It's, it does its job basically. Um, next I have this brush, it's the Large ang Angled Contour F40. I do, very, I do really like this brush. Um, it's very soft, this is one of the softest ones actually. My problem with this a bit is that it's very, it goes very frayed even when I dry it um, properly and shape it and stuff. It goes very slick splayed, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, the other thing is, I'm not a big fan of the white hair just because they always look so dirty. Um, but it is a very good brush, um, very good angled contour brush, but. I think you can find drugstore dupes of this. Like I have a Sasa one, which I love. Not as, quite as soft, but it does the job. Um, so if you already have one that you like, you don't need this. But it is a nice brush to have. Okay, what's next? This is the Sigma Foundation brush, which is the F60. This is a good brush um, for foundation, but like the one before... I don't think you need to get it from Sigma, I think you can get these anywhere, these are always going to be soft, always going to do exactly the same thing, they're just paddle brushes, you don't need to get it from Sigma. Um, my advice is if you're going to get a whole set, this is a nice brush to have, but if you're going to buy them individually, which I'll go on to explain I think is a better idea, then you don't need to get this, you can easily get pick one up in your drugstore, they'll do the same thing. Um, this one, Tapered Highlighter. This is one that I thought I was going to love, um, but I don't use it much, it's because I don't reach for it. It's, I find it's too small for most things. You can do highlight, but you can do highlight with anything, um, and it really doesn't keep its shape very well. It's supposed to be more pointy like this one is, but it's kind of gone rounded which kind of defeats the purpose. Like, it's, a, it's a nice brush to have, but I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't, like if I was ordering individual brushes, this wouldn't be on my list, but it's a nice brush to have, I guess. It doesn't keep its shape, which has gone like rounded now, so. It's pretty, it's average, don't need, you don't need it. Um, next is the small contour brush, which is the F05. Now this actually doesn't come in either of the set which I was surprised to find. Um, I ordered this one individually and that is because I do really love my MAC one. This one's pretty similar. I don't use it for much. Um, it's a decent brush. Same issues as the other blackhead face brushes but still very soft. Nice to have. Good for blush. Good for contour. Um, if you don't have the MAC one this is 
this would be a good one to have because there's not many drugstore alternatives to this. Um, but if you do have the MAC one, then you don't need this. Um, what's next? Next we have the large concealer brush, F65. Now, I must confess, in the two months I've had this, I really like haven't used it. It's this huge brush. I see why people would use it, and I see why it's a useful brush to have, but every day I don't use it. Um, again, if you want a big concealer brush, I'm sure this would be excellent for you. There aren't many drugstore dupes for this. Um, let me put it next to the foundation brush. It's not much smaller than the foundation brush. You could probably just get away with the foundation brush. But if you're looking for, if you're looking to expand your your kit, so you have like every different type of brush, this is a good brush. But if you're just looking for some good brushes that you can use every day, you don't need this. I don't get much use out of it at all. Okay, I'm gonna quickly move on to the Sigmax brushes, and these are all really dirty and need a good bath. Now, okay, I'll start off with I'll start off with this one. This is the Round Top Kabuki, the F82. Now this, these are all meant to be, I think they're like for foundation. I don't know, they don't really say what they're supposed to do. Um, but this I love for cream blushes. I'll give you an example. If you take like this is a Maybelline cream blush, you just dip it in, dip it on the back of your hand and just swirl it in and it's actually very good for that. I really really enjoy this brush for cream products. Um, yeah, this is definitely a winner for cream blushes for me. The next one is the flat top kabuki which is the F80 which is probably the most popular one. I love this for foundation. It does an absolutely excellent job. Um, I used to use the MAC 130, I think, like the really tiny flat kabuki one. But this is just so much bigger and so much more dense, it just overtook the role of that. I absolutely adore it for foundation. And you could use this for cream blush and stuff as well. Um, the last one is the angled top kabuki, the F84. Now, at first I didn't have much use for this. I used it for a cream bronzer, which was quite nice. But I, this is actually overtaking this in my favourite for foundation. And the reason for that is you can get in like this under the eyes. You can do the forehead. Just the angle makes it really good for getting in all the nooks and crannies. So this is definitely my new favourite out of the three. Um, would I buy all three of these? I personally would because I just love all three of them. I don't think you need all three of them. All th if you just chose one, they would all do the same job. Like, you could get away with just this for foundation, cream blush, everything. It's kind of just preference on shape of the shape of your foundation brush. I like the angled one and the flat ones. I don't necessarily like this one for um, foundation. Well, I do like it, but I just prefer the shape of these. It's just personal preference. So, you could get away easily with just buying one, but... I love all three of them, <laughs> but definitely, I would definitely, if you're going to order anything from Sigma, this, these are the ones to get. <laughs>